Hello everybody, welcome back to Jared Takes the L, and welcome to Princess Peach Showtime. Now this is, of course, a fairly new Nintendo Switch game, just came out a little bit earlier this year, and I thought, what better way to end August than by playing a new game here on the channel. The first Princess Peach game since, like, 2005, I think, um, when there was Super Princess Peach on the DS. Um, so this is only Peach's second time in her own installment, the first I've ever actually played. I never got to play Super Princess Peach when that came out. Um, but yeah, here we go. We're gonna hop right into the video. Also, it definitely sounds like Princess Peach got a new voice actor. I know, like, all the other characters did, like Mario and Luigi and, and them got new voice actors. Definitely seems like Peach did too. So this is actually where I left off because there was a very brief cutscene that started off the game um, And then it just put me right here. I went back to the title screen just for in the introduction and everything But yeah, here we are. This is apparently the Sparkle Theater So I guess we're just supposed to kind of walk around the lobby and see what's going on here. We got these uh, little guys hanging around we have toads and whatever these things are. There's not really much else we can do at the moment. <laughs> we just kind of look around. Oh, this guy has something to say. Okay, apparently this is a feat. <laughs> and then it says, The sparkler in this play is so good, their sparkle is unreal. Sparklers are our top stars. They have that extra pizzazz. They breathe life onto the stage. Okay, good to know, good to know. Okay, I don't exactly know what all we're supposed to do. Toad said that he was going to go check for tickets. Today we're here to watch the plays, but it's every feat's dream to perform someday, too. Okay, can we go down here? Sorry, there's no entry past here. What? Why can't I go down there? Huh, okay. I don't really know what else to do at this point. There's something over here I'm supposed to do? No. I wonder if maybe we'll get to jump in the paintings, like, you know, like Super Mario 64. That would be pretty cool. I'd rather talk to you too. We'll be ushering you into our new Sword Fighter play momentarily. Thank you for your patience. Oh, okay, I had to talk to that guy. Princess Peach, I've got the tickets. Okay, does that mean I have to talk to Toad now? I gotta walk back over to him. Here's your ticket. Did you notice how crowded it is in here? Must mean the shows are great. Okay, cool. <laughs> Sounds like our play will start soon. We should head to our seats. So the whole point is we're just watching play- oh. Almost spoke too soon. <laughs> We have an announcement for everyone gathered here today. It is now time for... Okay. A performance of terrifying proportions featuring yours truly great. Is that what that said? Oh shoot, the crown. Okay, so apparently Peach still was captured, <laughs> um, but at least she actually gets to do something this time instead of just being held in Bowser's captivity. Oh. Okay, what is, who is this? Is that supposed to be a Luma? Y you want to know what's wrong? <laughs> Well, some strange masked mm. characters are making a complete disaster out of our play. We can't produce the play with them around. I don't know what to do at this point. Mm. It's really weird seeing Peach without her crown, too. Mm. So you came to attend some plays and now you're witnessing this whole mess, huh? Mm. I'm sorry to hear it. I, I have to sort this out, but I don't think I can do it alone. Uh. It'd mean a whole lot if you'd help me. What do you say? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I assume that was yes. Okay, really, you'll help? Mm. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> My name's Stella. I'm a sparkle sprite who watches over this theater. And you are Peach? What a great name. <laughs> With the power of sparkle on our side, we'll take back the play and the show will go on. Okay, that's easy enough. 
The masked characters I mentioned were in the sword fighter play. Let's get in there. Interesting, okay. The Castle of Thorns. So this is definitely not going to play the same way, um, you know, that, that we typically see in Mario games. I, I've heard that the gameplay for this one's definitely different. Um, but different's good too, you know, I think, I think it's cool to have some variety in the Mario universe. The heck was that? It sounded like someone honking a horn. I couldn't tell if that was in the game or if that was outside. Mm. So this is the Sword Fighter's story, and sure enough, it still feels off in here. Huh? huh? <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh no, what has happened? Someone's been hurt! Oh my! <laughs> Could the Masked Ones be responsible for this? Ah, I've got it. Okay, I've got an idea. We should try using the power of Sparkle. To give Peach a bow. Okay, I mean, I guess that works. I thought maybe it would have been a little bit more than that. Oh, okay. It's a Okay, you can use Sparkle through the ribbon. Okay. Come on, use Sparkle to help this thief. Yes. Alright, you've got it. I will do that. I don't know what exactly... Hit B? <laughs> Oh, there we go. Okay. Just like that. We've saved him. This is just one of the powers of Sparkle. It can help people and things shine and feel bright. With your help, we can fix everything using the power of Sparkle. Looks like this area has gone back to normal. Okay, this is actually really neat. So you like going through a whole play area. Wow, this is really cool. Very interesting concept here. I wonder if they based this off of the old theory that Super Mario Bros. 2 was a... was a play... or no. Was it Mario 2 or Mario 3? I think it was actually Mario 3. No, maybe it was both. I don't know. There was a theory. Oh, wait, we're going back into the darkness because there's masked characters. There they are. Looks like they're still causing trouble. Alright, well, thankfully I know what I'm doing here. Except for that. There we go. Okay. Okay. So this is how you defeat them? They just run off, I guess? Okay, wow, this is really, this is really cool. Okay, I know how to jump, thank you. Can I reach them? Oh, there are guys gonna try to fight me here. Can I ground pound? Is that not a thing you can do? No? Okay, it's part of the platform. This does definitely remind me of, uh... Paper Mario, for sure. And don't worry, for those of you who are still waiting for Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door to be on Jared Takes the L, that is still in the plans. Okay, so this is a shortcut, but there looks like there's a whole lot of stuff going on here. I love how Peach doesn't even... She doesn't even beat them up or anything. She just, like, uses the ribbon, and then that's literally it. What does that do? Oh? Okay, I guess we have to hit all of these. Okay. Hooray, now we can keep going. I figured that part out. Thank you, Stella. Oh, is that the end of part of the level? Or... This is... Ah, it's a sparkle gem. Proof of your fantastic efforts. These gems are packed with shining power, so I'm sure they'll be of use as we continue. Okay, so this, that's what we have to collect, then. Our sparkle gems. We've got a good view of the castle from here. We're getting closer. Oh, boy. Definitely getting some Paper Mario vibes here. Oh, boy, now we got these thorns creeping up through the ground. I just need to swing with more oomph. Oh, there you go. I actually, I gave him the ability to do that. <laughs> I go in there at all? Is there anything? No? Hey, stop that. <laughs> Wait, was I, supposed to, was I supposed to collect something from you? No. Okay, I, 
Alright, I wanna, I'm gonna go back up this way. I feel like there's definitely something over there. Oh, you wonder what's going on at the castle? I don't think you want to know, my friend. Oh, the flowers used to bloom here. Don't worry, I will make the flowers bloom. How do I... How do I hit... I can't hit this tree. There we go. Oh, now I have to collect the coins? I thought they just went straight into my uh, collection. There we go. I did. I bloomed all of them. Oh, there's more up here. Here we go. Oh, the heck is that? Okay, I don't know what he just gave me, but I got something. I wonder if there's gonna be like a live system or what exactly they're gonna have in this one. Okay, is this the castle? Oh, I gotta, I gotta strengthen the knights. There we go. Okay, there we go. Do I have to go up here too and help him? No. Okay, moving on. Let's go into the castle. Huh? That's the sword fighter's sparkle peach. I think we can make use of it together. Oh wait, is this do I become a sword fighter? Because I remember seeing this in the trailer. Oh, here we go. I think that's what's about to happen. I'm assuming. I don't really know what else would... That's right, fellas. We're getting another Sword Fighter character in the next Smash. <laughs> it's Sword Fighter Peach. <laughs> oh, that's actually her name, too. I wasn't even kidding. So, there you go. Smash Bros. 5 or whatever. Smash Bros. 6 will be Sword Fighter Peach. <laughs> Take out all these. I'm not used to Peach's new voice. It's not like it's not how it usually sounds, you know. It'll take some getting used to, but I'm sure it'll still be, you know. Eventually, we'll we'll get used to it, you know. Just like we, just like I, I have with Mario's new voice and Luigi's. Oh, I guess I can't hit that one. Oh, okay. There you go. I'm helping you out right now. I am the sword fighter. What more could you possibly need? There we go. I love that she takes a... Like, she stops to do, like, a pose and the crowd claps and everything. Like you're actually out of play. I think that's awesome. Not one step farther! Oh, yeah? You and what army? I guess you can only make that joke if the army hasn't already shown up. <laughs> okay, here we go. Perfect. Why would you give me... Aren't you the enemy? Why would you be giving me extra lives? Oh, shoot. Oh, there we go. Okay. Dang. If Peach was like this all the time, Bowser would never stand a chance. Like, he literally would never be able to kidnap her ever again at this rate. Okay, what do we got going on here? Oh. We have to do that. Oh, the king is in trouble. We have to hurry. Okay. So that's, that was just showing me what's about to go down. This game, this game works really well as a Peach game, but you know what else this would have worked really well as? A Kirby game. I don't know why I'm thinking that, but having the whole thing be like a big play would definitely work as a Kirby game as well. Alright, are you next? Now it's my turn. Alright. Bring it on, dude. If you really want to throw down. Oh, we got a cage and everything. Right. How am I going to be able to stop this guy? Oh! Like that, apparently. I don't even know how I managed to pull that off, but I did anyways. Well, moving on to the next one. I assume we're going to have a boss fight soon. 
The sword fighter is here. Charge. Okay. Take that, dude. Are you guys not gonna fight? Okay. So I assume with each level, you get a different power-up kind of thing. That's what I'm gathering out of this. I hate that heart. There we go. How many of these guys are there? Do they just keep coming out unless I move on? Probably. Because there are a lot. You know, Peach, it probably would have helped if you had at least brought Mario along, too. Having a two-player mission probably would help you out a little bit more. Oh, it's the king! Okay, we gotta hurry up. I will save you! No, it is not your castle. Oh, crap. What is this? This is my show. You won't get past me. Okay, wow, we have a pretty crazy boss fight already, it seems. Uh, I have to attack the arm? I assume? I'm trying to figure out how exactly I'm supposed to, to do this. Do I have to beat up the arm? I'm assuming that does some damage, and then you probably have to do something... I have no idea. This one's actually slightly confusing. Where's the arm at? Oh, it's right here. Alright, let me try to... Let me try to jump here. There we go. Okay, now I know what I'm doing. Okay. I got it now. It makes sense. Alright, watch out for these things. Don't worry about it. Only got two. Come on, hit it. There we go. Come on, hit this one too. There we go. Okay. Now we're doing fine. Now we're doing fine. Alright, now. Oh, I win? Let's go. That was easy. That was not as difficult as I thought it was going to be. Hmm. Like that. Thank you very much. Also, maybe it's just me. I don't know if it's just like my recording software. I don't know, but the audio for the game sounds kind of weird. I maybe mean, I don't know. If maybe like I said, it could totally just be me. It just sounds different. Oh, and it said to be continued. That's cool. I like that. This is actually really enjoyable. This is really fun. Pretty cool for a, a Peach game, for sure. An idea that they've never really done in any Nintendo game, let alone a, a Mario game. So we already completed... All right, we already completed one level. We did it. Together, we're able to use the power of Sparkle. Oh. The theater's not back to normal yet. I wonder if those glowing threads and the symbol in the lobby here are related. I bet the other plays need our help, too. Come on. Let's go check on them. Well, we will probably have to do that in a different video because it's already been 19 minutes. So, I don't want to keep you guys here for too long, but... This game is really, really enjoyable, and I know for a fact we're definitely going to come back and play this one at some point. So if you guys want to see more, definitely let me know down below. But that's going to do it for now, guys. September is going to be a huge month. A lot of crazy games making their debuts and stuff. Um, it's going to be really fun, so looking forward to it. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.